How to change the dressing of your peripherally inserted central catheter, also called a pick. In this video you will learn what is a pick and why you may need one, and how to change the dressing of your pick. What is a pick and why you may need one? Your healthcare team will suggest a pick if you need IV therapy. Having a pick means you do not need to have a needle put into your arm each time you get fluids, medicines like chemotherapy and antibiotics, a blood transfusion, IV nutrients, food, blood samples taken. A perfectly inserted central catheter is used to deliver medications and other treatments directly to the large central veins near your heart. A pick is a small flexible tube placed into a vein in your upper arm. One end of the tube goes inside your body, the other end stays on the outside. Your pick has several parts. Exit site. The exit site is where the pick is inserted. The exit site must be covered with a dressing called tegaderm to prevent infection. Your healthcare team will not use stitches to keep your pick in place because stitches increases the chance of infection. To prevent your pick from slipping out, a securement device is used. Statlock is a type of securement device. You may be using a different brand when changing the dressing of your pick. This securement device must be changed when your pick dressing is changed. Your pick may have one, two, or three tubes that come out of your skin. These tubes are called lumens. Having more than one lumen means your nurse can give you different IV therapies at the same time. The clamp stops blood from coming out of the pick. The clamp has to stay closed when the lumen is not in use or when the lumen cap is being changed. The lumen cap. A cap closes the end of each lumen opening, stops blood from coming out of the lumen, stops germs from entering the pick, and helps attach IV tubing and syringes safely. This video will show you how to change your pick dressing at home. You will need the help of a caregiver or family member to change the dressing of your pick. How to change the dressing of your pick. A dressing is a special covering used to protect the pick exit site. The dressing blocks germs and keeps the exit site clean. If the dressing is loose, gets wet, or dirty, germs can get in the area around the exit site and cause an infection. The dressing of your pick should be changed once a week and sooner if it is visibly soiled, loosened, or if there is redness at the site. Here are a few things to remember. Avoid getting your pick wet. Do not put your pick under water. You can shower with your pick if you cover your pick with plastic wrap so water does not get through. Make sure your pick stays dry. If it is wet after your shower, you will have to change the dressing of your pick. Remember to work gently with the pick as the area may be sensitive and the pick can easily be pulled out of the exit site. There are five main steps you must take to change the pick dressing. Step one, gather your supplies. Step two, prepare a clean work area. Step three, remove the old dressing. Step four, clean the exit site area. Step five, apply the new dressing. Step one, gather your supplies. You will need clean disposable gloves, sterile gloves, face mask, two chlorhexidine CHG swabs, alcohol swabs, medical tape, a stat lock package. A stat lock package contains a stat lock, Cavalon, which protects the skin from dryness and itchy skin, and sterile tape, and a Tegaderm dressing. Ask your healthcare team where you can get these supplies. If you are allergic to any of the products, your healthcare team will give you a different product to use. Step 2. Prepare a clean work area. Before you open your supplies, find a clean, dry area. Do not change the pick dressing in a damp area like the bathroom as this can cause an infection. Instead, choose somewhere dry like your living room or dining room. Clean the work surface with a disinfectant wipe or with soap and warm water. Remove all your jewelry from your fingers and wrists. Wash your hands with soap and warm water for 30 seconds. Dry your hands with a clean paper towel. Put on a face mask and a clean pair of gloves. 
you will need to wear a face mask as breathing or coughing on the exit site can cause an infection. Once you have done this, you are ready to remove the old dressing. Step 3. Remove the old dressing. To remove the Tegaderm dressing, slowly loosen the edges of the dressing. Hold on to the bottom part of the pick with one hand to prevent the pick from moving. Gently remove the dressing from bottom to top. Keep the dressing close to the skin and remove the dressing slowly. Do not stretch or pull the dressing as this can cause small skin tears. Once the dressing is removed, look at the exit site for signs of infection such as redness. Redness at the site may look different on different skin tones. If you cannot see the color around the site but have signs of infection like blisters, itching, clear fluid or pus, white or yellowish leaking, pain, swelling or warmth at the exit site, fever, contact your healthcare team as soon as you can. You will still need to complete the dressing change. After you remove the old dressing, you can remove the stat lock. Place a piece of tape on the lower part of the pick. This prevents your pick from coming out while you replace the stat lock. Use an alcohol swab to loosen the glue underneath the stat lock. Lift the stat lock gently from the skin. Lift the pick and stat lock from the skin. Lift each of the stat lock tabs, you will hear a clicking sound. Throw the stat lock in the garbage. Check to see if your pick has moved. This can be done by counting the black dots on your pick if they can be seen. The number of dots showing on the outside of your pick should be the same as the last time you changed your dressing. You will write down the number of dots you see on a piece of tape when you have finished changing the dressing. Let your healthcare provider know if your pick has moved by three or more dots. If it has moved by three or more dots, you must still complete the dressing change. Step 4. Clean the exit site area. You must clean the exit site with special swabs called chlorhexidine gluconate or CHG swabs. CHG swabs help to clean your skin of any germs. For demonstration purposes only, the exit site in this video is under the sleeve. Remember to not touch the pick exit site with your hands. To clean the exit site area, open the first chlorhexidine CHG swab. Scrub the pick exit site with the CHG swab. To clean the exit site and the skin around the exit site, follow the pattern shown in this animation. It is important to clean the area horizontally for 15 seconds. Turn the CHG swab over to the unused side and continue cleaning the skin vertically for another 15 seconds. Remember, for demonstration purposes, the exit site is under the sleeve. However, when you are changing the dressing of your pick, the exit site will be near the red circle shown on screen. Throw the used CHG swab in the garbage and open a new CHG swab. Clean the pick with CHG from top to bottom. Make sure to clean on top of and underneath the pick. Always move the swab in the direction away from the exit site to prevent infection. Allow the CHG to dry fully. This should take 30 seconds to a minute. You can now remove and throw out the disposable gloves and any used supplies. If the CHG is not fully dry, it can irritate your skin and cause blisters. Do not blow, fan, or use a hair dryer on the site as this can blow germs on the area and cause an infection. Do not touch any part that has been cleaned. If you do, clean it again with another CHG swab. Step 5. Apply the new dressing. You will need to do these four things when applying the new dressing. Prepare your supplies and put on a new pair of sterile gloves. Apply the Cavalon. Apply the Statlock. Apply the Tegaderm dressing. Do this carefully as touching any of the supplies without wearing sterile gloves can cause harmful germs to get on the supplies and cause infection. Before opening the sterile gloves packaging, remember to use hand sanitizer on your hands for 30 seconds. 
Once you have cleaned your hands with hand sanitizer, open the sterile gloves packaging. Do not touch the inside of the packaging as it is sterile or free from germs. Touching the sterile area can introduce germs which can cause an infection. Open the Statlock package. Empty the Statlock and Tegaderm packages onto the sterile gloves. Do not touch any supplies until you put on the sterile gloves. Pick up one of the sterile gloves from the opening end of the glove. Carefully put the sterile glove on without touching the hand part of the glove. Repeat with the other hand. Once you are wearing the sterile gloves, you can touch the Statlock, sterile tape, and Cavalon. Apply the Cavalon. First apply sterile tape between the pick exit site and the area where the Statlock will go. This helps to keep your pick in place. Open the Cavalon package. Apply the Cavalon over an area large enough to cover the entire dressing, but do not apply the Cavalon directly to the exit site. Once you have wiped the area with Cavalon, let it air dry until the skin is no longer wet. This should take about 30 seconds to a minute. Do not blow or fan the area as this can cause an infection. You have now applied the Cavalon. The Statlock has arrows on both sides that point up toward the patient's head. The arrows help in placing the Statlock in the correct direction. Once you have the stat lock ready, put one wing of the pick onto a blue spike on the stat lock. Here is an illustration applying the stat lock. Then close the clear lid. You will hear a clicking sound. Repeat the steps with the other wing of the pick. Peel off the paper backing of the stat lock and place the sticky part to the skin one wing at a time. Remove the sterile tape that is holding the pick in place. You have now finished applying the Statlock. Next, apply the Tegaderm dressing. Remove the backing of the Tegaderm dressing. Place the Tegaderm loosely over the exit site and Statlock. Make sure you can see the exit site through the clear part of the dressing. Here is an illustration that shows where the Tegaderm dressing will be placed. Do not put the Tegaderm dressing too tightly on your skin. Remember, for demonstration purposes, the exit site in this video is under the sleeve. When you change the dressing of your pick, your pick exit site will be under the Tegaderm as shown here. You can now remove the paper film on the top of the Tegaderm. The large secure tape also includes the sticker that you will need to write down the date the pick was changed. You will need this piece of tape in a few minutes. Place the large secure tape over the bottom edge of the Tegaderm. These two pieces have a U-like shape. The two pieces have to line up with each other and with the pick line underneath. If it is not lined up, you can lift the tape and apply it again. You do not need a new dressing. On the date label sticker, write the date the dressing was changed and a number of dots showing. Apply the tape with the date along the white border of the dressing. You have now applied the Tegaderm dressing and are finished changing your pick dressing. Once you have finished changing the dressing of your pick, Place all used supplies in a regular garbage bin. If you have any questions or concerns, contact your healthcare team. For more information about PIC lines, read the pamphlet, Perfectly Inserted Central Venous Catheter. Remember to read the pamphlet before or as you are watching this video. You can find the pamphlet at the Patient and Family Library located inside the Princess Margaret Cancer Center, online, or by asking your healthcare team. If you are a patient of Princess Margaret Cancer Center, your nurse will give you the information on who to contact if you have any questions. 
If you are a patient of Toronto General, Toronto Western, or Toronto Rehab Institute, call your home care nurse or coordinator. In this video, you have learned what is a PIC and why you may need one, how to change the dressing of your PIC, 